In this video, we're going to try to find the kinetic energy of a 1,000 kilogram car that is traveling at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second. Now, we're going to assume an idealized case. We're going to assume that there are no drag or air resistant forces causing this car to slow down as it's moving in the forward direction. And we're also going to assume that there is no friction causing this car to slow down either. So we're assuming an idealized case for developmental purposes. So this car is going to be moving at constant velocity, so the acceleration of the car is going to be 0 meters per second squared. It's not going to be speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. And again, by Newton's first law of motion, objects in motion will remain in motion at constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. And we're assuming that there are no net external forces slowing this car down. So in this case, this car is going to be moving off in this direction with a constant velocity of 20 meters per second. And what we want to know is we want to know what the kinetic energy of the car is. And if you recall, the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half the mass of the car times the velocity of the car squared. Now since this object has kinetic energy, it has the ability to do work on something else. And it can therefore transfer its kinetic energy to another object by applying a force to another object over some distance. And so we often call kinetic energy energy of motion. So this car has energy due to its motion. All right, so we can now write this as one half the mass, which in this case is 1,000 kilograms, so we'll do one half of the mass, which is 1,000 kilograms, times the velocity squared, which in this case is going to be 20 meters per second, and we need to square the entire term. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one half of 1,000 kilograms, and then 20 meters per second squared is going to work out to be 20 meters per second times 20 meters per second. And the reason I'm doing 20 meters per second squared out is to really emphasize the math that is taking place. So now what you're going to get is 1 half of 1,000 kilograms, which works out to be 500 kilograms. And 20 times 20 is 400. And then we have to multiply the units out. Meters per second times a meter per second is a meter squared per second squared. And then when we do 500 times 400, we get 200 thousand kilogram meter squared per second squared. Now you'll recall that this unit of a kilogram meter squared per second squared is also referred to as a joule. One joule is the force required to cause an object with a mass of one kilogram to move over a distance of one meter. So our answer is going to be 200,000 joules. So this car has a total energy of 200,000 joules.